Hello everyone. This is Tuesday, November the 8th, 2022. It is seven degrees Celsius, but it feels like, are you ready? Feels like two degrees. Wow, we went from a big change, didn't we? All right, and the time is 2 p.m. So yesterday it was boiling out nice and warm, felt like 17, 18, and today it feels like two. It looks like uh, the fun is over, huh? Well, maybe not. It could be temporary. So anyways, the wind is blowing really hard outside today, and I thought, well, I drove over today, I'm in my car, so. I I thought rather than me walk around in that wind and blowing air in the microphone and making a big racket, and you probably wouldn't enjoy it that much anyway, I thought I'd just sit right here on this corner, one of the busiest corners in Halifax. Probably is the busiest, busiest spot in Halifax, right here at the corner of Young and Roby. So I'm gonna sit right here. We'll probably put in about a half an hour making this video. And I hope you'll find it enjoyable. You can see some of the buildings that have gone up over the last couple of years. Not not all of them are finished or some of them are close though. The ones over, the shorter ones past the tall one. The cranes are all down on those and, and the they're completed as far as the outside work. Now that's all the inside stuff getting done on them. So those ones will still probably be the first ones to open. And they got some that's just down at the ground level yet. There's a couple of cranes over there. And they're, they're still at the ground level. So there's a truck from my Weiss company right there and I'm just gonna sit here and see what comes and goes and we'll look at it and comment on it I got a I got a tow truck right beside me here which I will look at I don't want to psych him out if he sees me pointing a camera at him so okay so there's the tow truck right beside me and Tim Hortons is over there and I just went inside and I got a large Tim Hortons double-double. And it didn't cost me a cent. You know why? I used my Tim Hortons rewards and I got a free large coffee, which is on the app on my phone. So I just uh, set it on redeem and got myself a free coffee. Oh, Midland is just pulling out. We'll keep a track on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let his boss know he's sitting in here wasting time. Okay, just joking. We will do no such thing. Okay, now let me see. What can we do? What can we talk about? What do you want to talk about today? Talk about the big change in the weather. Man, this was a. Uh, what, what did I do? I forgot to turn something out. There we go. I think it. Oh, we don't want the radio on. We want that off. <laughs> to help we get that on, and we're gonna have to have copyright issues going here. There we go. Okay, I think everything's all off now. Mm. So, now the big change in the weather. Wow. I was out on Friday, made my last video on Friday, and it was posted yesterday. And it was, the weather was so-so yesterday, it was starting to change. It was windy, but today, it's, it's like really, really cold today. Oh, we're just big babies and we're not used to it, I don't know. I thought it was cold. I got my 
I got my uh, heavy jacket on though. This is the jacket I'm gonna be wearing all winter, right here. So, it's, uh, I guess the, I guess the warm weather's had it, but we'll see. But anyways, it's very windy. I'll, I'll show you the bushes blowing there. Let's see, right, right, right there. Can you see the bushes at the edge of the parking lot? The wind's blowing them around. Yeah. One thing is, good, I don't have to raise my voice at all in here because I'm sitting in the car and it's like really, really quiet. So I can speak really quiet. I didn't have to put my microphone in. I'm using the one in the phone and it's, it's really good. So anyways, yep, the, the summer's pretty much gone. We had a great summer though and a great fall because for we're, we're in November. We're in, we're right up there in November. There's one of the Halifax uh, utility trucks there, like I guess for fixing power things, probably light poles, probably replacing light bulbs and poles and stuff like that. Regional municipality of Halifax, one of their uh, repair trucks, probably, probably for for the light poles, I would say. Yeah, because I see a, a sticker on the side there. If you're repairing the hydro wires, watch your crane. You might electrocute yourself. Okay, that's what the sticker meant. Okay, so we're gonna see what all kinds of uh, trucks come in here, because I know some people are interested in that. My friend down in Mexico, he, he drives a truck down there and, and I'm gonna show him some of the things that, that goes on up here in this, this country and, and I'm sure it's no different down there. I was looking at some of his videos of warehousing and stuff like that. It looked just like Toronto. So yeah, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know Mexico from Toronto, from some of those warehouse areas. Believe me, I know Toronto well. I I drove a truck in Toronto for the last time I was up, I was there 15 years. Worked at the same job for the whole time. But I also worked up there before that for well, on, on Tractor Trailer, I worked three different companies for two years each place. So that was six years. On to the 15, that gets me up to 21 years. I drove them through, I don't know, there was before I started driving trailers, I drove, a, I drove five tons around Toronto. I started with Mayflower doing the house moving I went from that to Bulk Foods and I left that and I went to another Bulk Foods company. And then when I left there, I, I worked for the same company I worked for when I left. No. So anyways, I got lots of experience in Toronto. I know the city inside and out and backwards and how to get everywhere. That's what you learn when you're when you're working the city. I work the city now, but I'm not driving a truck because I'm retired. I'm I work the city making videos, and my wife works the city though. She's a, a courier driver here in Halifax, and I'm sure you any of you that watch my videos have seen her, <coughs> and. Yeah, you probably recognize your truck if you saw it on the road. Cause she's been in a few of my videos now. And she, I love it when we do the driving ones. We'll have to do another driving one if the wind keeps up. Cause, cause we really have fun doing those driving videos. Oh, there's Cisco. He's got the front fender crunched. That's never good. Look, I'll show you when it comes by. 
You see that front fender, the bumper's all broke and the fender's cracked. Yeah, that's gonna be a expensive fix. And it's never quite the same even after they fix it. But it is what it is. Those are the hazards of driving a truck. Everything don't always go great all the time. Things like that happen. Cisco's a big company. They're, uh, they're all over. I've seen them in Toronto, Quebec. And down here, Atlantic Canada. And I don't know if they're out west or not. I'm not sure. I haven't been out west in years. Years and years. I mean a lot of years since I've been out west. So, fortunately, all my trucking years haven't taken me past the borders of Ontario. So I, I uh, kind of don't know anything about out west trucking. I never trucked out west like the prairies or British Columbia. I never drove a truck in those provinces. So I know nothing. I can't comment on who's out there and who's not and what's going on because I'm out of the, I'm out of the loop on, on the western part of Canada. And I may never go out there. I really don't have anything really to go out west for. I will be traveling to Toronto again this summer. We went in May last year. We had a great time up there and get to see my little granddaughter and and get to know her boyfriend a little bit better. They're not married yet, but they're going to be. They're just saving up. You know how it is when you're starting off. <clears throat> it's not easy. There's a truck. I could drive that. <laughs> what do you think? I could make a career out of that? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, when you, like I say, my, my daughter, her, she she worked at a call center right now. She's off on maternity leave, but she yeah, that's what she does. She works at a call center. And her fiancé works in, a, I think he's a window installer or something like that. Got a pretty good job anyways. <clears throat> and the two of them are... They'll do all right when they, when they, when when she gets off maternity leave and and they're both uh, back into the workforce and then start saving some money for their wedding and for a, a, they got to get into a bigger apartment from where they are because it's quite crowded. Now they got a baby, so it is yeah, it's going to be. It's gonna be rough for the first couple of years, and then they'll they'll find out it's gonna it's gonna level out when they start getting on top of things. Uh, and and but they both have a car, anyways, and, and they drove down to visit us this summer. We were up there in May, and they came down in I think it was June. Could have been July. Hmm. Yeah, I know. When you get to be 71, things get a little foggy quicker than they do uh, when you're 21. But you just have to learn to live with that. Um, yeah, so they'll, they'll, they'll do all right. But we're going to go up this summer and visit them again. I'm not sure if it'll be June or July or August. Whenever my wife can get her vacation. That's when we'll be going. Because we're making plans of driving up this year, which last year we flew up. Flying's all right if you're in a hurry to get somewhere, but the road trip is half the fun. Like, like that's, that's a lot of fun just driving up and driving back. And last year we had a or we had a different car and it wasn't reliable to say the least. It broke down so many times. So we <clears throat> this year <clears throat> we got a nice Nissan here and it's quite reliable. And so we think we're gonna drive up this year. 
and you know I never even opened my coffee yet look at this I've been yapping away here and there's my coffee still not open so I'm going to give it a little shake and then I'm going to open it up enjoy this nice cup of Tim Hortons here I gotta check my check my time and see how long I've been yakking 15 minutes wow you know, I've never been able to keep still my whole life, so no need to start now, right? When I need it, I got it. <laughs> when, I, when I don't need it, I still got it. The gift of gab. Not everybody has it. I think I was born with it. It's, it's not something you learn in a classroom. It's something you're born with, I think, because some people just aren't good talkers. I never run out of things to say because, you know, just the simple commenting on things. It, 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 it takes a skill. It takes a certain skill to talk for a half an hour, an hour. And when you start talking, you're not sure what you're going to say, but you just uh, you go, go with it. Whatever you see. I know when I came in here, I, what I wanted to see was how busy. You see how busy this little place is, right? You got Tim Wharton's over there. You got the SO right there. Across the street, there's a tavern. And just down past that, Tim Martin, there's a, um, I think it's Shoppers Drug Mart. And just across the road, there's a plaza over here. And a couple of plazas, really. So there's a lot of stuff right in this little area to make this busy. And a lot of people come in here to grab a coffee on their way through. And, and a lot of people use this cut through to take, try to shave off the corner here. And they go through the parking lot. And some goes too fast. Maybe you'll see that now that I've pointed it out. When, when somebody does that, you might see it, how fast some, some of them go through this parking lot to try to save going around the corner. This woman's nervous backing out past me because she sees I got a camera going here and she don't want to hit me. <laughs> so that's, that's understandable. Might have the evidence if she hit me. So, oh, they're looking at me wondering what I'm doing in here with, a, with the camera sitting here. They probably, probably think I'm a detective or something. No, no, I'm not a detective. I'm a, I'm a video person that's very interested in making videos and, and I don't worry what I look like. If somebody sees me and they're all wound up over what I'm doing, well, they can come and ask me, oh, what? You know, I got to tell you what happened when I did St. Mary's University. I made two videos that day. I did the St. Mary's University. Then I took a walk from that intersection to another location in the city. And when I was just getting set up for the second video, there was a crossing, <laughs> school crossing guard across on the, on the opposite quarter. And I was looking in my phone to make sure it was on and everything was working good before I started it out. And he saw me with it pointed that way and he thought I was recording him. And he come over to see what I was doing. So before he, uh, got a chance to say too much. I, I I said, oh, just doing a video of the university here. And he said, I said how's it going? Oh, good. And then, I said, you, you must be the crossing guard for this intersection, are you? And he said, yeah. And I said, oh, yeah, that's good. And then I said, well, I'm just making a, a video of the university. And, and um, that's it. He goes, oh, I see. So he kind of relaxed. And I think he thought somebody was spying on his job or something. And reporting back so he thought he'd come right over and find out what it was yeah there was nothing like that no there's one just came through that blue truck did you see that they, they come right through the other well, over there there's a driveway in on the other side of the so store and they'll they'll cut through there and then out through over here to kind of shave off the corner and make it, make it quicker. 
So, and sometimes they'll come in through this side, my, my, the right here. They'll come down through this side and out through down there. So, there's another one. They, they do it a lot. A lot of cars do that here. They, they cut, cut the corner. Some they do it at, a, it's not so bad if you do it at the right speed, because this, this is a busy parking lot. If you go flying through here, you could easily get in an accident in here. There's been several of them in here because people got in the corner and did it too fast. That little gray car is cut in the corner, but they're doing it. Uh, they're doing it slower. It's when they go flying through here that's risky. Well, I met up with my wife here a while ago. That was before I started making this video. I met up with her. We sat inside there for about 45 minutes, half an hour maybe. I'm not sure. I didn't time it. It felt like about a half an hour, 40 minutes. And then she had to get back to work. She, her truck is in the shop today, so she had one of the company trucks. Fortunately, that's a, it's an option for her when 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 uh, she has to put her truck in the shop to get something done. They they'll let her use one of the company trucks, and they they charge a certain fee, but it's cheaper than going and renting one off somebody else instead of uh, Midland. So so she gets it from the company, and and that works out pretty good for her. Well, that coffee tastes good. Look, look, a gi giant size uh, Tim Hortons here, advertising Canada's number one coffee shop, Tim Hortons. And some spots in America have Tim Hortons too. Do you know, we used to have Dunkin' Donuts up here back in, I don't know, not, not, not in Atlantic Canada maybe, but we had Dunkin' Donuts in Toronto. And then, I don't know what happened, but they moved out. Tim Hortons must have been uh, playing the pressure. So they, they all moved out and there's none now. But I remember when we had Dunkin' Donuts in, in Toronto. And Dunkin' Donuts got one thing going for them, the donuts. They're like a meal, they're, they're, they're solid and they taste really good. But nobody can make coffee like Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons got the best coffee, best, best all around coffee. The kind of coffee that after you've had one, you feel like having another one. There's not too many uh, coffee shops can boast that, but uh, a few. I know when I go to Starbucks, when I've had one coffee there, I don't really want another one right away. I feel like that one is probably going to hold me for a while. I had to try not to wobble this around. I got the long handle on my gimbal here, and that's why it's wobbling around a bit. And I got a light flashing on it too, which means my battery must be wearing down a little bit. Well, that's okay. Let's see how many minutes have I got on this now. If I'm over half an hour, I can, I can just, uh, yeah, I'm at, I'm at 30, 34, I believe. I gotta put my reading glasses on. Pardon me, folks, but I'm getting all luck. I gotta put my reading glasses on to, to read this. And the sun's shining, yes, 30, 34. 
minutes, I think. Yeah, it looks like 34 minutes on there. The little tiny, I don't like the way they show this one on the screen because it's kind of orange with black numbers in it. And if there's any light shining on it, it's hard to read it and it's small to begin with, so it's, it's, it's not, not easy. But it looks like I've been yakking away for 34 minutes here, which isn't bad. But we'll just keep her going for a little bit yet. I gotta drive out to Lower Sackville and pick up my son, but no hurry, it's early yet. I'll try to finish my, my coffee before that. Alert for Dartmouth, a cyclone. I just came on my phone right now. A cyclone alert for Dartmouth. It was supposed to be sunny today, a cyclone. Usually means rain, heavy rain. Joe, we got a cyclone alert for Dartmouth. Just came on my screen. Well, that's uh, not good. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not going to drive in it. If we get a cyclone, I'm going to let it blow over before I head out to Lower Sackville. No worry anyway, because it, there's more to do right here than there is out there. If I go out there to Lower Sackville, he don't get off till, it'll be five o'clock today before he's off. And there's a Tim Hortons out there, but but there's no wash, they don't have a washroom. It's a little tiny Tim Hortons. <clears throat> and all you can do is buy coffee and I think you can get a few donuts or something in there, but not much. It's a very tall, very tiny Tim Hortons. So there's nowhere to go to the washroom. That's your first problem. And you don't get you don't get much to do like sitting here on this corner at least there's things to do i can go over to tim hortons and and uh, go to the washroom i can go in the store at, at tim hortons or at the esso and there's also a there's a there's a mall a, not a mall a, a plaza right behind me that i can do i can go there too and yeah and get things so i'm gonna stay here until it's I don't know. I say I, w I, wish I wouldn't leave here to go out there any, any sooner than than uh, four o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock. I leave here at three. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna look and see what time it is right now. If this comes on, it might it might light up here in a minute and tell me what time it is. It is 2.23, there we go. I turned the volume way down so I wouldn't, you couldn't hear it. There we go, there's my, my fancy radio giving me the time, right? There, 2.23. So it's early yet, it's early yet. You see that? car at the coal plant going there in front of us. I got the same car here, but ours is white. And that one is, I think it's green. But as I sometimes I get my colors a little bit wrong there, but it's the same thing, but a different color. The wind is still blowing, yeah, it's rocking the trees there somewhere. It's a bad day to be walking around doing the video, that's for sure. That's why I didn't want to do that, because if I walk around making a video and all you can hear is in your microphone, that's that's not fun. So you, you, you couldn't take that very long. You'd have to stop and say, oh, well, I can't watch that because there's too much wind noise. The wind noise gets louder than your voice. <laughs> And you're fighting to, to be heard over the wind. Uh, if you ever watch people video and you heard that noise in the background, that's because they're out making a video in the wind and didn't have enough uh, protection on their microphone away from the wind. I got I got a I got a windscreen on my microphone, but wind can still get through. I know there are some some things out there that's a little better than what I have. 
and maybe I'll upgrade one day, get something a little a little better. But for now, that's that's uh, what I have. I like the phone. I like the camera on the phone and all that stuff. And my this this little gimbal is so-so. It gets the job done. It's good. It's good enough. Like I don't need real expensive stuff to make a video. You just need certain. Just need things. You need a you need a gimbal to hold your phone, but you don't really need a super expensive one. I see now there's a lot of people making these with what they call a back camera. They they walk around and they got this camera and they're, I don't know if it's in a backpack or, 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 or if it's a special thing strapped on their back. I have no idea. But they walk around and they're showing where they went, not where they're going. It's, it's weird. It's I, well, The first video I saw like that, I was thinking, something's funny here, and then it hit me. Oh yeah, they're showing where they came from. The, the guy can't be walking backwards. Then somebody said said on the start of the video, using back camera. You know. That crane over there uses one of those devices that lifts up the crane and adds another section. I think they're 10 foot sections. So you don't have to take the crane down every time. I wish I could be right here when they did that, but they haven't done that today. And I don't think they'll be doing it for a few days because they got, a, they got it up quite high there now. And I'm not sure if that's the full height or if it's going higher yet. I'm not sure. We'll see. You know, I know it's supposed to be over 30 stories, but that may be the full height up, up to there. I'm not sure. So we will find out as time goes by. Somebody on a little load of lumber over there on a the truck that has a roll roll off bed. It can roll it right down on the ground and uh, unload it that way if they want to. Well, two more days of work two more days of a work week this week because here in Atlantic Canada Remember, stays a holiday. It's not that way everywhere. There's some provinces that don't give you a holiday for a Remembrance Day. Um, Ontario didn't used to do it. I don't still don't think they do. Give you give you the day off for Remembrance Day. Courier is a big business in in Halifax. That's M M B W Courier. There's loads of couriers here. Not to mention Amazon, because because it's not a courier, but their parcel delivery for their own stores. We didn't have Amazon here up until about what a year ago, maybe. And then Amazon announced they were building a, a a distribution center here, and now it's up and running, and they got all these trucks on the road. I don't know, I don't know how many they got. Whoops, I, I let this thing wander around here. Sorry for that, I just, my, not holding that good. There we go, okay, I try to, I'll try not to let it shake around too much, okay? Um, yeah, as I was saying, Amazon's got a, got a distribution center here now, and I don't know how many trucks they have, but, but you yeah, see them everywhere. Yeah, if I was going to guess, I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50. But yeah, they're everywhere. Every, every part of the city you're in, you see Amazon here now. Halifax is, is really changing. This is not the city it was when we came here four years ago. 
this is a totally different different city that was then. It was changing when we came here. There were changes being made, but it's changing rapidly. It's going from a small city to a medium city rather quickly. And I don't mind that because after living in Toronto for all those years, it, it would take a pretty big city to intimidate me, to, to not like it because it was too big. Yeah, that's that, that, that not gonna happen here. Um, I found Toronto was okay. I did, and we didn't move away from there because we didn't like it. We moved because I retired and it's a little cheaper here. That's, that's why we moved down here. It was cheaper, cheaper to live here than it was, than it was in in Toronto. Most uh, most of rents in Toronto now are are well over two thousand a month. You know what I'm paying for? What we we are paying our family for our apartment in Halifax? <clears throat> Somewhere around nine nine forty five, something like that. Nine forty. 942, I think that's what it is. That's what we're paying for our apartment. Now, the same apartment, because we've had it for four years, and it only goes up 3% per year. So, but if you move out, and then they do some work to it, and then the next person moves in, The next person moves in is going to pay up in the neighborhood of eleven, twelve hundred for that nine forty apartment because after you move out, they'll do some work to 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 it, and they don't do a lot of work to it, but they you know they can straighten it up and do some painting, and maybe if the floors are scarred up, they'll they'll redo the hardwood floors and stuff like that. And then when you move in, it's nice and fresh and it's good. And you're going to pay between eleven and $1,200 for your two-bedroom apartment where we are. So it's a good deal for us because, I mean, where, where else can you get an apartment in this city now for what we're paying? So probably won't be moving anytime soon. My daughter's planning on moving down. It might be great for them. We're in our neighborhood. There's usually there's usually empty apartments in our neighborhood. No, I gotta I gotta call her. I might call her later today and and see how she's making out and try to talk to me to say, Well you guys are ready to move down here, we we get get it all arranged for you. You'd have somewhere to go when you got here, right down to it and get an apartment right in our neighborhood. It's not bad. There really, yeah, I can't, I can't say too much about it. There's not a, not a lot of. I won't say there's no crime, but it's not a, it's not a ghetto or anything. It's, it's just older. It's older buildings. And they don't get the same rent value as new modern buildings. And the units are kind of small. We got a tiny kitchen. And our our bedroom, my my wife's bedroom, is a good size. We got a queen size bed in there and, and two dressers and there's still lots of room for stuff. All my music gear is in there. <laughs> or not all of it, half of it is in our closet and the other half is in another room. But yeah, it's it's for what we're paying, I'd rather pay what we're paying and and have the money for something else and pay it all out. And, well, we get apartments going here for over $3,000, 3500 $3, Those right down by the waterfront, those, those new apartment buildings, those glass buildings. There was a sign up there 
last summer. Apartments for rent for a two bedroom starting at $3,500 a month. And that was starting. So I guess it depends on. They come, they come, they're, they're new modern apartments and they come with appliances and stuff like that. So it depends on what's included in it. And so not all apartments are cheap in Halifax. It's just as high here as it is in any big city. If you, but if you're going for that kind of uh, apartment, which I'm not going to for that. Because yeah, it would be nice to live in that, but but it's not nice paying that much money out. It's money that you're actually throwing away because you, you, it's not you're never going to own that building. Oh, there goes the guy getting towed. CAA. We had CAA, and um, we got another another company now. My wife signed up for for another another towing company. Uh, insur towing insurance. You have to always use the one that's on that insurance, unless they approve something else. But. Well, I think I've uh, probably rambled a quite a while here today. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 45 minutes and I haven't left the car. Now, that don't happen every day that I would make a video like this, but because the wind is blowing really hard out there and I knew I couldn't get a good quality video and everybody be looking for a video tomorrow because I always put a video up on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday unless I'm sick or something happens. Other than that, there's a, there's a video there on, on uh, those days. So I didn't want to disappoint you. So I thought I'd just sit here and and uh, show some stuff that's going on on the corner here. And there's Thompson's moving in storage and I'll show you what's around here a little bit. There's a little tiny plaza right there, the Young Street Center. And there's the Lion's Head Tavern over there. I'm sure they draw a pretty good crowd here at times. They get upstairs and downstairs. So uh, that's a brand new building too. They built that, oh, maybe a year, a year ago, maybe. Maybe something like that. Something like a year ago, yeah. Good thing I don't want out. Somebody parks right in front of me here, but no, I don't want out. So that's all right. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be nice you push that like button. I would really like that. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I wish that you would become a subscriber. It doesn't cost anything and you'll get all my videos. And if there's a little bell there, you want to push that, that'll just go ding and you'll know there's a video, okay? So with that, I hope you're having a really great day. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.